Thailand and we are in Phu Quoc in Vietnam. Yes, and today we are going to show you around the world's longest cable car. Let's show you around. The newly opened cable car of Phu Quoc is a breathtaking experience. You can gain a fresh perspective of the island, seeing nature, boats and even pear farms from above. We've traveled through Thailand, Laos, Cambodia and now we're in Vietnam. We still have lots of footage to edit, but as the cable car is just opened, we want to be one of the first lame YouTubers to make a <coughs> shit um, video. If you're new to our channel and you just want to watch two idiots walking around foreign countries, or you just want to kill some time whilst at work, some fucking chickens, then please do consider subscribing. With the length of eight kilometers, Phu Wat Cable Car is the longest three-way, not in that way three-way, cable car in the world which has given it a well-deserved Guinness World Record. The ride is a truly breathtaking experience. You will have an aerial view over the archipelago, flying over the great islands, the turquoise coral reefs and charming fishing boats. You can actually look down at the harbour and watch fishermen sailing their boats out to sea. The cable car ride from Phu Quoc to Hong Tong Island takes around 15 minutes each way so you really have time to enjoy the amazing views from above. It's quite fast actually. Compared to the average speed of other cable car routes, it is quite fast with the speed of up to 30 kilometers an hour. So you genuinely feel as if you're flying above the water. So it's safe to say if you're scared of heights, it's really not for you. Yes. You're trying to find little things to like, to pick out. No, actually, it's <laughs> Wow. And then the Spanish style town that they're building as well. It's basically like any, like a cross between an Italian and a Spanish and sort Portuguese, of big, yeah, Portuguese yeah. like town, like a very European colonial town. And it looks, you walk around, it's not open yet, but you, you can see that it's, if you look out the corner of your eye or even straight at it, it looks just like the real thing, like actually there. Yes, and they're building yeah. a, a cathedral like as well, a life size yeah. cathedral. Yeah, they do. The facade is all like used and dirty. Yeah, as but not well. like, not, it doesn't New. even look like a theme park like that. It's, bad it's just way insane. Of doing it. it's we are in Vietnam, right? Yeah. So we're on like a Polynesian style island now. To get there, we hired a motorbike, about 150,000 dong, which is about $6.50 and about a litre of fuel is, is about 90 cents. Try not to buy the fuel on the side of the road because it's about a dollar fifty roughly. We drove from Ong Lang Beach where we were staying and it took about 45 minutes. We stopped along the way to Coconut Prison which is where some of the communist Vietnamese were held during the war. Yeah, we definitely recommend that you stop along the way if you are heading down that way. It's, yeah, it's a real eye-opener. Once you get to the cable car, parking is free, which is a nice surprise. We can also go by taxi, it'll be about the same amount of time. Price will definitely be a lot more, roughly around 450,000, but it depends on where you're staying. If you're staying in the main town, we're staying a little bit further north, but from the main town, it'll be about 300,000 to 400,000 dong, something like that. To ride the cable car, it's 300,000 dong for an adult. If you're a local, if you're Vietnamese, then it's half the price. Uh, if you're a child, it's a little bit less again. It's important to know what time the cable car is open. So it's open from 8 a.m. till midday. And then there's an hour and a half break from then. And then from half one, it's then open till seven. Yeah, there's plenty to do on the island, on the very end of the cable car once you get there. Once you're at the other end of the cable car, there's a huge water park called Aquatopia. Entry for adults is 200,000, and again, a little bit less for children. But you can pretty much spend the whole day there. You don't have to wear underwear in the park. Oh. Yeah, I think you've got to look on the slides. Okay. And of course, you got information about our coronavirus, which <laughs> we didn't find in Cambodia, by the way. Vietnam is better. Uh, as well as uh, the water park on the island, there's plenty of restaurants, coffee shops, souvenir shops. And because of the, the, the pearl farms that are famous on Phu Quoc, the, there's plenty of jewelry as well if you can afford it. So like in the US, anywhere else in the world, going back to the cable car, you're going through many different shops. 
through for you to buy something. So, yeah. For whatever it works. Oh, glasses. We originally only planned to stay on the island for two nights, but we actually extended it to five nights. There's that much to do on the island and we really did not want to leave. You could probably live there for quite a while. We're going to be making another video to showcase all that Phukok has to offer because it is basically the Maldives in Vietnam and kind of Vietnamese prices. So it's an absolutely perfect destination and we cannot highly recommend it enough. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please again consider subscribing and don't forget to tick the bell icon if you do. Uh, if you have been to Phukok or you would like to go to Phukok and have any questions then please drop us a little comment below. And again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye!